Four villages in the southwestern Chinese province of Gizhou were buried by mudslides in the early morning of September 15, causing roughly 500 villagers to lose their homes within a minute. Meanwhile, heavy rain in other regions led to several rivers breaking their banks and submerging crop fields. Mudslides also occurred in other parts of Gizhou, and in central China of Hubei province. But it was not immediately clear that, how many people were buried underneath. Continuous rainfall has inundated the regions of Hubei Gizhou Hunan on Huifa Jinjiangxi Sichuan Chongqing Jijiang Jiangsu Yunnan Guangxi and Guangdong The number of residents in these areas equates to roughly half of the entire Chinese population about 695 million but authorities claim that only about 20 million people were impacted by the recent flooding. Moreover, residents close to the site of mudslides in Gizhou told that local authorities didn't allow them to approach the disaster area and refused to tell them about the situation there after 4 a.m. on September 15. Heavy rain caused mudslides to wash away houses in Ganlong Township Tongren City in southwestern China's Gizhou province. Local authorities announced that 133 houses were destroyed and 507 people lost their homes but local villagers said that devastation was in fact much greater. Ganlong, is the town farthest away from the city center in Tongren the rescue team arrived after 10 a.m. more than five hours after the mudslides occurred. TT's miserable. Lee said he added that many villagers had been washed away by the flood water over thousands of acres of land were submerged under the flood and the main road connecting the township to the city was also destroyed. Two connecting villages nearby Yanlong Shangji and Yanlong Jeju could also be facing mudslides. Jin who is a store owner at Yanlong Shangji said, more than 1,000 rescue members arrived at the villages but they didn't provide details about the catastrophe. According to Jin, a nearby mountain called Feng Wangling has started to show cracks. Some of his fellow villagers have moved to live with their relatives who live far away. A restaurant owner at Mushu Village which is two miles away from Sheoban said the Sheoban village is under lockdown. The officials don't allow anyone to enter the village. We are not allowed to take out our phones even from far away. When the local media reporters contacted the Ganlong Clinic the nearest medical center to Shiban, a receptionist said that most of its staff went to assist a disaster site but she refused to divulge more information. All wounded people were sent to other hospitals she said.